A small town gave her a funeral and honored her after a killer dumped her body in a refrigerator more than 30 years ago in Knox County. Now the red-headed Jane Doe, as she's been called since 1985, may finally have a name and a family. In this LEX 18 exclusive, Lee Searcy talked to a woman who thinks Jane Doe could be her mother. For 32 years, she's been called the red-headed Jane Doe. Her murder first told in the newspaper after her body was tossed like garbage. She was asphyxiated. Barberville adopted her. Hundreds turned out for her funeral. Now, in 2017, Facebook brings hope to a North Carolina family. Do you think this is your mother? I do. Elizabeth Pilgrim was barely six weeks old when her mother, Epsy Regina Black Pilgrim, disappeared. That's Elizabeth's older sister with her as a baby. Then last Friday, she says her aunt came across a post about unidentified murder victims. When she seen the picture, she just had a feeling, and she then asked for more information and called the police department. Next week, Kentucky State Police detectives will go to North Carolina to collect a DNA sample from Elizabeth. She believes the composite strikingly resembles her mother. Here's a photo of Elizabeth's older sister next to Jane Doe. But that's not the only similarity. The birthmark, my brother noticing, recognizing the necklace. Elizabeth says her mother had a birthmark behind her left ankle and wore a necklace like the one found on Jane Doe. But until she gets definitive answers, she can only hope this is her mother. Everybody is just as anxious to figure out the results as we are. It's very overwhelming. Covering the news, Lee Searcy, LEX 18 News. Elizabeth says she has five other siblings.